Hello Beasties, welcome back to Maleficent Month, presented by Cinema Scotty. On today's episode, I want to discuss another plot point of Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. In the various trailers, teasers, and TV spots, and even behind the scenes footage, we've been presented with a particular scene in the film. This scene is a callback to Sleeping Beauty and to the first Maleficent film, with Aurora pricking her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. Now, how it's depicted in the upcoming sequel is entirely different from how it's depicted in the first film from 2014. In the first film, we see Aurora going down to the dungeons or underneath the castle, and she goes to where all of the spinning wheels were burnt and destroyed, and that's where we see her prick her finger. But in Maleficent Mistress of Evil, we see Aurora in a smaller room with a spinning wheel, and she's about to prick her finger again. And at the top of the spindle, we see green magic sort of floating there. And as we know, Maleficent's magic when she was doing evil is green. So, is Aurora destined to prick her finger again, or is this some sort of vision or dream? It would be interesting if another character cursed Aurora, or somehow reawakened the curse that Maleficent originally gave her. Or it would be a really big twist if somehow Queen Ingrith is magic herself, and she somehow repeats the curse, and that's why we see Aurora going to prick her finger. Deep down, I do believe this probably is a dream sequence, or a vision, or a flashback, just told from a different point of view. But it's interesting that they've included this in the marketing for this film. It makes sense that they did because Aurora pricking her finger is a very iconic scene from Sleeping Beauty. And it's another way of showing that this is in the Sleeping Beauty universe. Now I'm going to be doing a review of the book I mentioned the other day, Maleficent Mistress of Evil, Heart of the Moors. And I started to read it and there's a passage where it details that Aurora is afraid that she'll fall into a sleep spell again. She thinks to herself that maybe she'll fall asleep and never reawaken. So maybe that's a foreshadow and she's afraid to be cursed again and we see that depicted. So this is just a theory. I still have not read the novelization for the film so I'm sure this scene is detailed in the novelization. But again we'll find out for certain when the film releases on October 18th. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Aurora will be cursed again? Or is it just a dream sequence or a vision? Only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Maleficent Month. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that big subscribe button and consider giving this video a big thumbs up. Goodbye, beasties. Cinema Scotty, out.